Alright, welcome back everybody. This is uh, GTM. Uh, we're going to continue working on our still life video tutorials here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch up 3D Max. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take one of those uh, grayed out images that we uh, you know, basically grayscaled out in uh, Photoshop. Uh, remember our hotkey to get into the front. Uh, we're about to put our reference image here in the front viewport. So I'm going to hit Alt B. And let's go Files. And let's look for our image. And we'll have them in my reference folder here. And there we go. There's our wine glass. I'm going to open it up. Remember to match the bitmap. Lock zoom pan. This is so we can use our middle mouse and zoom in and out on our object. Our reference, I should say. All right, so there we go. I'm going to hit G to get rid of the, you know, turn off the grid. And I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, what we really need. All right, so from here, I'm going to hit Alt W. There's our um, reference. All right, in our perspective, just so you can see, I'm going to go ahead and take a cylinder, just like how we started off the bottle. Click and drag it. I'm going to hit F4 so I can see my edges. All right, here I'm going to turn this to an eight-sided cylinder and three in height. All right, from there I'm going to take my scale tool, which is my R key, or you know you can just uh, click these three up here. So I'm actually going to, you know, middle mouse this so I can activate this window, and I'm just going to, you know, zoom that up and bring this down, kind of center it somewhere about right there all right next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and prep up this I alt W by the way to maximize this I'm gonna come here modify right click convert to edible poly or I can just click on it from here right click convert edible poly all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that face and secondly probably delete that face just because I like to prep up my objects I'm going to hit G to get rid of the key, uh, grid, so I turned it off. Hit my M key, and I'm just going to drag this material on it. So remember never to use this material with a you know, texture since we used it as our default shader. And let's see what our line colors are. They're kind of greenish, so I'm going to make these black. All right, from here, let's, um, let's go ahead and start working. All right, I'm going to click on my object. And we're just going to take our vertex right here. And I don't have ignore back facing check or anything, so it's unchecked. I'm going to highlight through. So I'm taking my move and select, select and move, and I'm just actually highlighting through. Hitting R to scale it in. Just like that. Grab that. Scale it in. Remember, we only need the bulk. And as I'm scaling, I'm just clicking and dragging down or up, you know. So if you have to do it a couple times, just so you, you, know, you can get it scaled in. All right. And we're going to scale that in. Remember, we only need the bulk. We can always come back for the details. All right. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and take my border right here, selecting the border in perspective. I'm going to take my move tool, middle mouse, and to activate the front viewport. I'm going to hold down shift and just shift drag it all the way to the top come duplicating the edge letting go the edge is still selected so I can just go to my scale or hit R and scale it in or you know if you wanted to if you're used to it you can just grab your vertexes and you know kinda scale them in there you go alright next thing I do is uh, cut in the details here so this is what I'm going to teach you uh, the ring and um, you know, loop and technique, which we've been kind of doing with the bottle already, but all right, so I can grab an edge here, or you know, I can go from here, grab grab an edge there, or you can highlight through just like that. Then go to your connect tool, connect it, and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slide that up a little bit with my slider tool, and I'm just gonna hit my check mark, okay. The edge still being selected, I'm going to go ahead and just scale it out, just like that. You know what, I'm actually going to raise these verts here, hitting W, 
Come on, move tool there. There we go. All right, and we'll probably do it right here one last time. I'm gonna grab these edges, connect, and let's slide that back down slightly, just like that. Hit OK, and then R for your scale. There we go. All right, let's come down here and take care of these right here. So I'm gonna highlight through, connect, and let's go ahead and hit OK. I'm gonna go ahead and scale that in. And don't worry if we're not too, you know, exactly against the, the reference image. As long as we have something we can, you know, use as a guideline. And I'm going to kind of tighten these up here. So I brought that down, by the way, right here. Um, you know, I can come here, connect another time, and just slide that down right about there. Notice this kind of bolds out. So if I wanted to, I can, you know, add those details. I can grab those edges, connect. And I'm going to slide that down slightly. And you know what? Let's just scale it out. About like that. And I can bring these down a little bit. Something on the lines of that. That's fine. We can, uh, like I said, we can get the details in a little bit. All right, we're going to, right here, uh, a couple things we can do. I can just come down here. And let's do it this way. I'm going to actually take these vertexes. Since we deleted the bottom, I'm actually going to take those verts, raise them up just about like that. Take the border right here, since there's an opening. I'm going to hold down Shift, Shift drag it in just like that. Remember, this is perspective, uh, orthographic, so we don't want to round that off. We're pretending that we're looking at this straight on as if there's a glass we're sitting on a table. All right, from there, um, you know what? I'm not going to cap it, but I'm going to show you how to take your scale tool here. And I'm going to Alt-W so you can see what's exactly is going on. I have the border selected. As you can see right here, I'll deselect it. I'll grab my object. I'm going to grab my border. Hold down Shift. I'm going to... Drag that in slightly by holding shift and as I'm you know moving my mouse back and forth it's duplicating the edges. I'm gonna go somewhere about like that, let it go. I'm gonna raise this up. Whoops, let me get it by the Z axis here. A little bit, and I'll probably scale it in just a little a little bit more by holding shift again and duplicating that edge. Just like that. And you know what? We can actually cap it now. And that'll seal the hole. Just like that. All right, with that now, um, let's go ahead and build the inside of the glass. Because if I were to actually click on him, right click, object properties, and turn on my back base coal, you can see that we really don't have an inside built yet. All right, so from there, what I'm going to do is, uh, here, I'll go on perspective so you can see it. I'm going to grab my border, just like that. And pay attention to the top perspective here. I'm going to hold down shift so I can duplicate the edge like that. I'm still holding shift down before I let go on the mouse. All right. Take my move tool. The edge is still, as you can see, it's still selected. I'm going to go to my front viewport, hold down shift, and I'm dragging that in and matching the inside edges with my outside edges. Same time, I'm going to scale that out. To kind of match it. I don't want to go outside like that, overlap. I don't want to do that. So I just want to kind of build the contour of the inside of the glass. So I'm going to match it down here with this edge. Scale it in. And then um, we'll do it again. So hit my W key for my move tool. Hold down Shift. Bring it in. I'm matching that one. I'm going to scale it in. My R. W for move again. Hold down shift. Bring that in. And let's go ahead and R. That's scale. I'm going to bring that in just like that. So as you can see. There we go. We built the contour of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cap that off. And it seals that hole. Alright. So now we got our rough wine glass here. I'm going to throw a turbo smooth. We'll work in perspective here. So I'm going to Alt W. 
And let's throw a Turbo Smooth on there. We go two iterations and ice line displays. As you can see, we got a pretty good shaped glass, but we don't really have control of everything. So this is why we take, and we're going to actually chamfer everything. We do it really quick here. Take our edges, and we'll grab one here, one there. Let's go ahead and grab that edge. I'm going to grab that edge, and I'm holding control as I grab multiple edges. That edge, that edge, and let me grab the bottom edge here. So, as you can see, I got all those edges. I guess I could have actually ringed it, but I didn't want to ring it all the way through. I want to, you know, I didn't want to grab those edges. So, we have all those edges selected. I'm going to go ahead and loop, just like that, so it loops it all the way around. I'm going to zoom up so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to hit chamfer, and I'm splitting the edges. And I'm actually going to... Um, Tighten that up just about like that. You don't want to overlap them or stack them. You just want to kind of like split the edges slightly. So there you can see I split them. But it, then again, I did all of them at one time. All right, so I'm just going to hit my check mark. Okay, there we go. Just by splitting our edges. And if we turn it on Turbo Smooth, we have basically controlled our glass a little bit more. All right, there we go. But now let's go ahead and shape it up a little bit. So as you can see, our glass is kind of skinny. With our Turbo Smooth on, I'm going to go ahead and click on my vertex, turn on Showing Results, so I get this orange bounding cage. And at the same time, I can highlight through. Let me just grab the middle row, and I'm just going to kind of scale that out to match the size. We're just kind of shaping it up here. And let's see, there we go, something like that. I guess we can grab that inside a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I could probably grab this and just skinny it up a bit. You know, if I want, that looks pretty good. I guess that's about it. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna just click on my Turbo Smooth, and if I hit F4, there goes our wine glass. You know, I guess I, if I want to, we can make that skinnier if we want to, the lip of it. All right, so for the most part, though, there goes your wine glass. All right, let's go ahead and, um, you know, let's save this out if you'd like. And what we're going to do is merge this in with our wine bottle. So I'm going to save this, and we'll merge it in as soon as we build everything. So this is, uh, you know, still, I'm going to call this... Uh, Still life four, and I guess we better call this uh, wine glass because I didn't name the other ones. All right, um, hope to catch you next video, and we will be modeling the barrel. All right, I'm gonna save that, and I'll catch you next video.